As I was preparing to get out of the Army, I, I, I thought to myself, you know, I know the economy is bad, but, you know, I'm, I'm college educated, I'm a veteran, and I'm, I'm like, you know, somebody's going to be offering, you know, I shouldn't have any problem finding the job. Well, a few months into looking for <laughs> employment, I came to find out that, you know, that, that wasn't necessarily true. And I wasn't and, working either. And she wasn't working either, you know, and she's pregnant and, you know, we go from, you know, having our own house and everything else and we go from that to, you no know, jobs, no, no jobs, no home, living in my parents' basement, you know, got this new baby, new, fairly new marriage and, you know, we just didn't know what we were going to do. We were sitting here, uh, just like any other Sunday, we were Sunday up, morning. Sunday morning, we were up in the balcony and, you know, Pastor Darren starts talking about, uh, you know, the commitment to the church, this, this founder's thousand dollars that he wants every family to do and you know God just spoke to me you know I've never been one of those people that's really had that experience where he, I just knew you know I've always had feelings that maybe God was talking to me or whatever but I just knew you know in my heart that that, that was God speaking he, he wanted us to do this and as I looked over at Katie I could tell that she felt the he same was way to me at the same time and we just we just prayed and I was just like you know you know, God, you give us the means to do this, you know, and we will we will make that commitment. We will honor. Yeah, we had no income coming in. Well, so unemployment, unemployment you know, but that, that was it. Much, you know, and but. it was the very next day I got a call from my job, uh, offered me a position that actually ended up being a lot more lucrative than even it so, even it sounded mm -hmm. like it. You know, it would have been whenever I applied. And what, two days later. Mm -hmm. She Two got days, a call. A few days later, I got a job. Offering her a job, mm -hmm. too. So it was just like, That's just bam, bam, bam. Here's your money. Here's your income. That six months later, we bought a new house. And, you know, and it just seems like every time something comes up, like when we bought the house and they moved the stuff fix. out and the inspectors came in for the second time, we found you know, deficiencies in the power system, you know, this, that, and the other. And every time we've had a need. The money's just been there. It's just been there. When we don't tithe, we have less money than when we do tithe. I don't know how Honestly, to explain it's it. Crazy. It's you know more money's going out, but it just seems like every time we have a need and we're faithful in our giving, um, you know, a profit sharing check will come in. I got a letter in the mail saying you have funds. Yeah, um, I mean, do you want to cash this out or what do you want to do with it? Money we didn't even you know just, you don't even wow. know about that just mm -hmm. keeps showing up whenever you know we're faithful in our giving, and we know mm -hmm. it's tough. To, to, you know to write that check whenever you don't have I mean we're just like a lot of other people right now you know we have money for the necessities throw a little bit in the savings and there's not much over the top but whenever you you know put yourself out there and you know I feel like you honor God by when we give and then we see what comes back we just want to give more yeah wow we keep giving and this is what we're getting back I mean what happens when we give more and more and more yeah. we're gonna get back more and more and more so it's exciting